New Madrid was famous for producing liquefaction features, and it was well known that in 1811-1812, many large uh, sandblows formed on the surface. There were fissures in the ground through which water and sand vented to the surface, and um, there was a lot of what's called ground failure associated with that. Places where fissures form, where the ground subsides, where it slides on the liquefied layer towards river uh, cut banks. All of the sand blows in the New Madrid region were thought to have formed during 1811-1812. Well, it wasn't long until my colleagues and I started to realize that many of the sand blows that we were studying um, actually were older than 200 years. And um, we could tell that they were older because they had fairly thick soil development on the surface, which meant they had to be exposed at the surface for hundreds, thousands of years in a couple of cases. And also, some of the sand blows had archaeological sites on top of them. So these are Native American home sites and uh, occupation sites, middens, with artifacts um, that are 600, 1,000, 2,000 years old. So if you have a, a sand blow at the surface with an archaeological site on top, you know it had to predate 1811. So that was um, a huge revelation. And in, we went from sort of studying ground failure related to liquefaction to trying to work out the record of past earthquakes. And um, that involved uh, studying many features, many sand blows over a very large area. And we found not only were there prehistoric sand blows, but that they were similar in size to those that formed in 1811-1812, and they formed over an area similar um, to the area that liquefied in 1811-1812. So we, so we realized at that point that the prehistoric earthquakes had been um, similar to those that occurred in 1811-1812, and we were able to use artifacts at the site as well as organic materials to um, get a, to date the sand blows and to get an, an idea of when they occurred. And in this way, we uh, figured out that there had been a previous New Madrid sequence of earthquakes, not just one, but two or three big earthquakes around 900 A.D., around 1450 A.D., and then, of course, in 1811-1812. From that, you get an idea of how often the New Madrid seismic zone produces these really big earthquakes, and it's on average about 500 years for the past 1,200 years.